Welcome to the Word Bible Software. Today we are going to be reviewing Learn to Read New Testament Greek, the third edition by David Allen Black. Go ahead and open up the Word Bible Software. Here we have, first off we have the title page. Let me uh, expand this column again. It's that the topic index that's always available there. If you go to module properties, you can see the about of this module. You can see the different features, verse pop-ups, fully searchable text, footnotes, um, section links, easy navigation of topics via topic tree, special colors, and etc. Um, it was written by David Allen Black. Here we have the properties. You get into it was published by BNH Publishing Group, the ISBN, and a very published 2009, etc. Let's go ahead and dig in here. We got the about. And we're just going to quickly run down through some different things and you can see an overall view. The letters and sounds of Greek. The language of the New Testament. Coming down in here we have the, the alphabet, uppercase, lowercase, English pronunciation, and a few things in here. We have the Greek is, of course, highlighted in red as per the normal for the Word Bible software. You can go ahead and go over these foot, um, these references and get into those. We continue on diphthongs, Greek consonants, uh, how to write the Greek alphabet or use information in the Greek alphabet, etc. Getting down to some exercises. Let's go ahead and pop open this here. Going into a little bit of a quick review. You've got no ex the exercises here, connect to there, continuing down. You'll see a summary paragraph here at the start of different chapters, different lessons here. You've got your translation sentences here, continuing inward. get in some vocabulary and you can start building up your vocabulary as you work through this resource. Adjectives. Let's go down a little bit further. Present, middle, and passive indicative. Get into some verbs such as luo and it has singular and luo mai, luo sai, luo tai and things like that. Use of the middle voice. We have section connectors. If you were to click on this, it would jump you to section 19. Let's go back, continuing on here. And the sections are like 95, 96, 97, vocabulary, etc. Let's jump down a little bit further, down to additional pronouns. You can see down in here, uh, note the following New Testament example, Matthew 12, 48. They point out different pronouns in here, such as tini, tena, ti and things like that. Your relative pronouns, they're put into bold when it's indicating that pronoun. And you get to see different small paradigms throughout and letting you know uh, the formation of different Greek verbs and things like that. Let's go into reading your Greek. We give you some helps. Oh, actually, go to epilogue. Oh, maybe reading your Greek New Testament. About observe the respect. Six areas of application. So they give you kind of a, a concluding or a summarization of where David Allen Black has been going. Epilogue brings you in further, um, such as computer software. And we have Greek accents. You can get into that in the appendix here. Appendix two, you got the alphabet song. Appendix 3, key to the exercises. If you need to know the answers to that, don't cheat because that won't help you. Getting your noun paradigms, your case number suffixes, your person number suffixes, summary of prepositions, and then words differing in accentation. In accent, accentuation, or breathing, sorry, pronunciation hard on that one. Appendix 9. Uh, subject index and this is not very nice as a quick overview you can go and click on these go to verbs if you hold down control it'll pop up that section and you can go into that same section as well let's continue down Greek English vocabulary you can come here to the back of the book and you can check out where these have been referenced in different sections so ion is in 115 you can see where that you learned let's see here uh, right here 
that vocabulary which is referenced here at the top. The section numbers indicate the first appearance of the word in a vocabulary. So you can see where that's talked about in greater detail, perhaps. So this should be an excellent resource if you're interested in learning to read your Greek New Testament. Uh, thank you for joining us. I hope this will be a valuable research as you continue to grow in God's Word and study. God bless and have a good day.